So now I'm an actual adult with an actual adult apartment that I pay for myself. Crazy, I know. Um, I am making this video to talk about the Trump protests I went to near where I live and some of the things that happened there and some of the revelations that I had. It wasn't a super big rally like the ones in um, LA or the ones in uh, Portland that you may have seen. It was pretty small and quaint. I wanted to go to just say that I am I'm there with the people who like me were scared and upset and a little bit angry about the Trump victory because of everything that he has said throughout his uh, campaign. I have a little bit of footage from the protest, not too much because it was, <laughs> it, the march was a little bit, you know, stop and go at some times and sometimes people were chanting, sometimes not and I, it was a lot of repeated chants so I didn't want to videotape the whole thing but here are some of the clips from the night. Right now, all of us, all of you, we embody that phrase. So when people call us crybabies, when people call us sore losers, and when people tell us to quit whining and to go home, and when people ask you why you protest, you remind them that we would never have the suffrage movement without protest. We would never have won Brown versus Board of Education without protest. We would never have a civil rights movement without protest. We would never have won, won Roe v. Wade without protest, and we would never have won the right for gay marriage. Donald Trump has got to go, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. Donald Trump has got to go, hey, hey, ho, oh, ho. Donald Trump has got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho. Donald Trump. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Like I said, the protest was peaceful. Uh, there wasn't any violence or even really any uh, harsh words. There were a few instances. I think I heard a guy swearing and a woman in a car yelling, Trump, 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 but you know, that's not, <laughs> that's innocuous. And I think the most hostility I saw was um, when we were crossing streets sometimes there were parts that weren't closed off and so sometimes uh, even though we had uh, peacekeepers and there was uh, a couple of police officers there to tell cars you know don't go these people are crossing um, there was some aggression from motorcyclists and they were revving their engines really loudly and one time when I was like pretty close to them he was revving his engine and like almost looked like he was going to go through um, us to I don't know get where he's going and he stuck up a middle finger which was just sort of passive aggressive but just the revving the engines and like that I don't know to me that sort of represented like um aggressive masculinity and hostility so that was the only thing that sort of put me off everything else was great there were a lot of there was a lot of like support and a lot of cheers because <laughs> let's be honest I don't live in a uh red state or a red city so this would be completely different if I were someplace else. The protests and the marshes aren't really to get in the face of those people who supported Trump. It's more to say this is how we feel. We don't want him to put policies forward that are going to hurt people of color, that are going to hurt Muslims, that are going to hurt women. We just want our voices to be heard by the Trump administration and people who support Trump. We have ideas and values and morals that are important to us, like Trump supporters have values and morals that are important to them as well. We just want ours to be heard even though we lost the election and we lost most of the House and the Senate. Just like how Trump supporters felt like the Obama administration wasn't hearing their concerns, we want to make sure that doesn't happen to us with a Trump administration and a mostly Republican uh, Congress. 
we want to make sure that our rights are protected. So I had a revelation when I was marching and was seeing a little bit of aggression or a little bit of um, unhappiness from Trump supporters. I had a revelation that I don't want to alienate people who did vote for Trump because that's a lot of people. And I'd rather have a conversation with them. I'd rather uh, understand their side. My main point is that people who go to Trump protests were not all just wanting to shut out Trump or his supporters. And since I do kind of live in an echo chamber, I would like to hear from Trump supporters if you have any things to say to someone who didn't support him and who was a little bit scared of him being uh, the president-elect and the future president. Just, I would like to know your thoughts on Trump, not on why you didn't vote for Hillary, because I already know that, and I've heard, you know, the, I know and I've heard the arguments against that, and I completely understand those, but more of why you would vote for Trump. So, leave comments down below if you would like to educate me on that and let me know why you supported Trump in the election because I'm curious because it's not something I did or wanted to do and I want to know. Let's hear something other than, you know, insulting the other side. Bye! <laughs>